Welcome to another video by DJ's PRC. We're back for a project Cherokee. Before we continue with the project, I would like to say this video is brought to you by Great Hobbies. www.greathobbies.com There will be a link in the description below. On the last video, basically, we did the, the shocks itself. Now we're on the transmission that we have in front of us in pieces. Putting the cases aside. One of the first thing they ask us to do is grab the main shaft, uh, grab one of the pins. Before putting the pins, they want us to put a bearing. Then our pin, that's super easy to fall off. Try to keep it straight. Grab this gear. There we go. And like I said in the past, the book tells you what sleeve to grab, and this is the sleeve we need to grab. Let's put this guy aside. Making sure, oh, I forgot a bearing. And there's a bearing going here. Grabbing the, the other shaft. There's another pin. And the correct side here. One of the big gears, they're the same on both sides. Pop this guy in, pop your bearing. Now they say the small sleeve and a bearing. Now they want you to grab the shaft. Try by the image, it goes this way here. This guy goes on the bottom one. You'll, you'll see you have to insert the bearing at the same time. Now we have this guy that goes this direction. Again, there's a place that the bearing will s slide in. For some reason right now. She didn't want to go. There we go. Now the two gears align themselves. If the bearing, I'm just going to do the opposite here. Put the bearing where it needs to go. Here we go. Now everything gets together. Now physically here, there's one other pin that needs to be inserted. And it's in this case here. And there's just one place in the corner it gets inserted. And then fill kind of fills this hole right here. Let's pop this guy in. in. One, one thing here. Let's put it aside to try to keep that bearing on top. Closes the case together. Make sure everything turns freely. It does. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I just wanted to try a dry lube. Dry test, should I say. Now I'm going to put pressure on this pin and reopen the case. Sometimes it works correctly. Sometimes it doesn't. We're going to put a little bit of marine grease on these gears here you don't want a ton but you want enough to be able to lube those gears and sometimes they play a hardball there we go. Make sure everything turns fine. Okay. Now basically this part is done. We're going to grab our countersunk screws that we have here. And 
we have one, two, and three, four. And again, you can use the book itself to find out the correct size. All three are the same if I remember correctly. You don't want to over tighten them. Once I did that, I always make sure everything turns freely still. And it does. Now we do have this piece right here. I'm not sure if you can see it. It's this guy right here. Yep. Put it on the correct side, it will help a lot. And you'll see there's just one place that hooks on. And it's basically a cap head screw. Sometimes they're hard to start. Certain screws you should not do by, by drill, you should do by hand. <clears throat> and you make sure it stays where it needs to stay. There we go. Oops. See, it didn't stay where it needed to stay. Yeah, that happens. Unhook it a bit, a little bit more out, and you'll see there's a place that it it slides in. I think this transmission doesn't like me. There we go. Now this piece is solid. Put this, side, this guy aside. Now we're going to build the other piece here. I'm just going to bring the book a little bit higher. This piece here. And this guy here, you'll need tons of bearings. What I do, I pre-insert the bearings in the case itself. It's just easier. And here we go, first one's in. Sometimes they are fini finicky. If you're not putting them completely straight inside the case itself, they, they won't go in. Of course, this is what's happening for me. There we go. And we'll need all these three gears here. And you'll have two shafts. Okay, you'll have one of the shafts that's right here. Basically, what we're gonna do is take one of the, the parts you'll see has groove that goes right here. Insert it. And make sure the bearing wants to co cooperate. There we go. Don't try to put in the screws because it goes with the top case right here. Now there is a pin to insert here. You'll need a pair of long nose and 
to insert it. And for some reason, I can't even see the hole. Oh, there it is. There we go. Now that top gear is this guy here. This is the bigger one. You'll see there's a groove in it. These two had, they do. Let's insert it. Then it's the small shaft. Then you do have the bigger shaft here. Insert your third gear. The fourth gear is here. Grab yourself a pin. Just make sure the direction of the pin is this way. This inserts direction of the transmission itself. And what I would do here, add a little bit of grease. There we go. Now you can insert the top case. If you put it correctly, it will go in even better. Don't do like me, don't put it upside down. Make sure everything turns freely. Grab your two longest countersunk screws. They go on top. And the smaller one goes on the bottom here. Grab a drill, which is a little bit easier. Sometimes these plastic are not threaded. And that's why it's a little bit harder to put them on. And there you go. This is the transmission, fully built. Now, if you guys have any questions or comments, post them down below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that bell notification or thumbs up. And if you hit the bell notification, should I say, you'll get notified next time I upload a video. Thank you for watching.